Nice. Nice haircuts. Hairdos. Okay. Kick side. Uh, what's, what's the vibe like, you know, going into this camp, I guess, compared to the past one since you've been around the longest out of all of them? Um, well, everybody's just getting in, so I can't really feel the vibe right now, but uh, I feel great, so I can answer that. Uh, year eight, man. It's a blessing. Uh, don't many guys make it to year eight in the NFL. Um you know, NFL supposedly stands for not for long. Uh, and I'm just, I'm just counting my blessings. I mean, some, of, some of the guys have alluded to D'Amico's defense having a more attacking style, maybe more blitzing and, and things like that. Have you noticed that? And how does that change? Have you had to spend more time, you know, thinking about things from a schematic standpoint maybe than in recent seasons? Um, now, that's just one of my goals. I, maybe... Maybe he may blitz more, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, I just feel like I'm going to have the same role. Probably going to have to cover, may get to blitz some, um, may get to free roam. I, I have really have no clue. I feel like it depends on the situation, the team we're playing, and just like the scheme that he's going into the week with. Where did you go during the offseason? What did you work on? Oh, sorry. Say that again. I can't hear you. Where did you go during the offseason, and what did you work on? Um, where did I go? And if was the first question. Um, psh, damn near everywhere. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, but I was in Texas, uh, and I really, really worked on catching the ball. Uh, even though I didn't get too many opportunities, I'm not finna just say my hands are made of stone, but I just work on catching the ball and just um, conditioning and my footwork. Um, just trying to get prepared uh, for covering. Uh, I feel like that's the main thing that I worked on. Do you have a goal for takeaways this season? Uh, I have a goal every every year until I realize I'm not going to, you know, meet that goal. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, probably uh, I'd say I, I want multiple turnovers. I want at least four or five interceptions. But, hey, uh, if I get some opportunities, the type of D-line that we got and – I feel like they're going to be playing, uh, for some reason, quarterbacks like getting hit and instead of throwing interceptions, probably because they know if they throw interceptions, they'll probably get benched. So they'd rather take the sack and blame the O-line. That's just how I go. Uh, During OTAs, did you get a feel for the chemistry of the D-line in front of you? Yeah, they, they're, they're, they're going to be nice. Yeah, it give, gives me vibes of 2019, and I, I hate backtracking, but I'm just trying to make a comparison. But I think they're going to have their own identity. I think they're just uh, – they're going to be a great unit. How did your off-season conditioning change from year one to year eight? Oh, sorry. Can you say that again? Sure. How has your off-season conditioning changed from year one to year eight? Um, I, I wouldn't say much. I – Mm, maybe I just, just do the same thing. I got the formula down since the last two years. Um, at the Super Bowl run, uh, just kept doing what I was doing. It didn't change much. I just made sure I did something every every year. Oh, um, actually, uh, well, already y'all probably already knew about this. I've been doing yoga a lot more. So a few, and I've been doing that since the last couple of years. So. Bikram, hot. Oh, hot. Hot yoga. I like to sweat. Mm -hmm. What's, going through, like, last year with uh, coming off the Super Bowl and then the season you had last year, um, do you sense, was there a different mindset in the off-season program heading into training camp? Like, is there something uh, that you could really feel like it feels different this year than it did a year ago? As in me or just the team? And yourself. Um, I just feel like the chemistry is is there, but it's, man, I feel like if you just got a, the same guys in the building, so if you have kind of like the same faces in the building, of course you're gonna get better as a team, and you just get to know some of the guys that you didn't know as much and better. Um, and for myself, uh, just you know confidence you know I don't have to keep switching positions I know I know my assignment I know my task uh, I know what the coach asks for me and need from me so 
and that just helps develop uh, me as a player, and that's where I gain the confidence at because I'm not going to be doing anything I haven't done before. John, John and Kyle were just talking about the importance of, of paying the guys who do things the right way around here, and they've done that over the last few years, including including with yourself. How does that resonate with players, and what impact does that have in, in terms of you know locker room chemistry or anything like that? Uh, I feel like it's just respect. goes to John and Kyle. Uh, just, you know, earning the locker room respect from your players and stuff. And you got younger guys coming in and looking at that system and just looking at their environment that they're coming in and just realizing, like, man, if I do things the right way, you know, it can be, you know, it could be a cash out, you know. But still, I still got to work because the guys who did get paid, they're still working like they, you know, they haven't got paid. So I just feel like uh, they're doing a great job. Comments about Sean McVay and Matthew Stafford. You said that no tight end can get more than 50 yards in you. Is the goal to tick people off and make them challenge you more so you get more action? Uh, nah, it's, it's not. It's not a goal. Like you know, Sean. I, like I said when <laughs> we had the interview, Sean McVay. He's a great coach. Uh, Matthew Stafford is uh, one of the best quarterbacks. But that's just where I'm at right now. I'm just confident and I'm a competitor. What I do and. If when I put up that film on my Instagram, I, I, when I said it, you know, I backed it up. I showed you what I could do, but I have to back it up this year too because it's another year. So you know, and, you know, talk is talk, but I gotta walk. So, but that's just how I feel, and I'm confident. And I got the same defense back. I got a, uh, I got, <laughs> I got D Ford and Nick Bosa back. <laughs> so, and, and we didn't have them last year. So that just tell you right there, I was covering well. We were covering great because when I put those clips up, if you didn't, if you didn't pay attention just to me. You looked at JV, you looked at KK, you looked at E-Man, Kwasi, when he was in coverage, like everybody had tight coverage. And when you got um, your D-line and you got two of your starters back, that just make make even less time for the quarterback has to throw the ball, get the ball off. Spoken with, with Richard Sherman, and um, do you know if any of your teammates have, and just have, have, have you guys talked about it? And if so, what have those conversations been like? Uh, I I think Richard Sherman. I reached out to him, told him I love him, and hope everything's going great. And I you know the incident, but and he just reached out back to me uh, not too long ago and just told me he loved me and everything's fine. And that's that's about it. All right, thank you. Y'all have a nice day.